Welcome to Smoky Approved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, we are here to begin to create two paths of the music we follow in the Smoky Approved Korea section, which is we need to do a better effort of the Korean music industry is bigger than BTS. So we need to listen to more folks than just BTS. But I must admit, in an inherent bias built from researching and listening to too much BC BTS, I, I, I like the boys. I'm part of the gang. We listen to the music. So, and there's so much that, cuz, I just don't have time sometimes. But it doesn't matter. We need to do both. So we must start the path. We're gonna start here, but we're kinda cheating. Cuz everybody knows who my little nigga is. So somebody thought they could sing my little nigga song. But it's from somebody who's attached to my little nigga. So I was like, fair enough. We'll check it out. We're checking out Yeonjun. I believe is how you say cut name. I could be wrong, I don't know. It's Yeonjun. Maybe is better pronunciation. Don't know, but he sung intro and three D. So I'm not gonna say that last word. So somebody tell me how to say that later. But yeah, that's where they're performing it at. I figured this be a good way for us to start. It's somebody that's not a BTS, but we have heard their music, so we shouldn't be too surprised. And then we could just start building back out from where we are today. So when I check the comments tonight after this comes out, somebody could tell me somebody else that we need to listen to that we've not listened to that's not been on the channel we need to focus on newness folks we don't know but people really like let's start there because that feels just the fairest way to do it while we still do all our other bts stuff so now moving forward one bts video one one nigga we don't know that's how it's gonna go if you like that please help me i'll see you in the comments sorry for being gone if you want to know why check the other video this one is this one now we're getting into this one. Please hit the like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description, and let's get into it. Just hear me. I can touch you through the phone. I can touch you through the universe. Just but there's one dimension. You know I miss it. Alright, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're here for somebody else. Dad. Boy. All right, fuck it. We cooking this nigga outfit, first of all. The tones of black is why I take issue with the fucking skirt. Because I like the little whole edgy zipper bit. I'm calm with that. No issues. None at all. However, what the fuck? Why the, like, the, it just, ah. I wish the tones matched closer to either, like, a faded thing or, like, a darker jean. Because then it would really make the red in the jacket pop more. Because, like... Say the nigga had his legs out. I'd have to eat the outfit if he had a good pair of boots on. Like, if he had shitty boots, he's getting cooked from the ankle down. But if he had legs out, want to wear the skirt, fuck it, everything else would work. But the jeans just, ah, oh, just throw my brain off. I couldn't let it slide. I'm sorry. That's a good jacket. Okay, okay. Oh, we got a whole little team. Let's see what we do with it. Her hair color is good. Nah, I was about to say, how the fuck this nigga come from under the stage? It's a cut. Is this nigga not going to... What's this nigga doing? I don't know this song. Okay, come on. Facts. Let me do it. To be fair. To be completely fucking fair. I almost thought it was my little nigga for two seconds. But it's that boy singing. Tone is almost pitch perfect. Mm-hmm. Hey. Uh. Uh. You don't have to be that no more. Do you like that? Do you like? Oh. And if you, if you don't wanna, hey, in three D. See, the only thing my little nigga right here missing is there's a level of maturity and presence that even though 
uh, JK has such a youthful energy and voice, it still comes with the level of, nigga, I'm here. It, that's what I'm not getting. And why I do know this is because just randomly today when I was walking down doing my grocery shopping, I got 3D on my phone with me on it. So I was like, bang that on. So I'm walking through the streets singing the song. So I just heard this. And then came home and seen this. I don't know how this got in front of me again, but somebody's either told me or just popped up. But most likely one of y'all told me to do this, and that's how we got here. So I just randomly re-listened to this, and now I'm watching somebody else sing it. And God damn it, he almost got me, but he's doing a really good job. Uh-huh. Hey. Ooh. No, no. In motion, in 3D. What? You know. Bow, 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 bow. The body, the body, the body. Uh, we got it. Uh, uh. I can high heart it. Baby, the baby, the baby. Hey, rain, I can't. Uh, no emotion. Look at that potion. Hey, look nasty nigga. Drinking that potion. What is you doing? Ah, ah. Let, 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 let me. In motion. In 3D. Ah. What's with me? Champagne confetti. Let's say it's a double. Because I guess a party. Champagne confetti. Y'all told me about champagne parties as well. But could we not also insinuate that the champagne could be like the male portion and, well, no, no, the champagne would be the lady portion and the confetti could be like the male portion. So like everybody is getting what they want. Is that also a possibility of the um, assumption or breakdown we can take of this particular line that I've not tried to apply to my thinking until now? I like it, girl. Ah. Ah, ah, 3D, you know how I like it, girl, you know how I like it, 3D, you know how I like it, girl, you know how I like it, 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 could have wrote him a really hot 16. He could have took Jackass off of there. Then he could have sung a verse for himself. Because ain't nobody expecting this nigga to rap. Imagine. He took off his little jacket for a minute and then dropped into a 16. You can't tell me that wouldn't have blew the house off the bitch. The news reports everywhere. Nigga TXD. I'm going to call him YJ just to make it simple because I want to keep messing his name up. But YJ from TXT out here spitting fire 16s. I would have been crazy. And on the Jack Harlow thing, oh, it would have been so good. It would have been so good. Yeah. See, I would like to hear him sing the song in the tone he's choosing to sing now. That's so much more his natural tone. And I like how much, how crisp and sharp it is. That's where I feel like he's no longer mimicking when he's like that, like that part. If he were to, not that he has to, because I know why he sung it the way he sung it, but I think his voice is nice enough that if he were to sing it like properly, like me, but this is a song you love, then when I say me, I'm him in this scenario, that it would also be something that would be very well received from the community and from all of his, his, his fans as well. It's just, it's just my two cents. You like that? Sing you like that? Ooh! Okay, okay, my boy. Mm. Come on. Hey, see it in motion in 3D. Champagne confetti. See it in motion in 3D. Like it, girl. You know how I like it. Ooh. Ooh. You know how I like it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Beeman just got out the cab. I get my bro in advance. All right, I'm done. I'm done. All right.
Let's be fair to to the young bull. Uh, I don't know how long he had to learn this choreography. So in the time that I assume he had, which is not a lot, he has done an amazing job with the choreography. He is hitting all the beats necessary. So I'm not going to try and compare him to somebody who, like JK, had as long as he probably needed to get that choreography down and has been doing choreography much longer than our guy right here. So there's a seamlessness or more of a umph in the dance versus bro still comes across a little stiff. Like he, he dances well, but it just does not have the fluidity that I'm looking for quite yet. But to be able to copy, learn somebody else's song, be able to tone match them predominantly through the entire thing and sing the song in a way that honestly, I got no beef with nothing bro doing. So psh, smashed it out of the park. But you do notice the nuances in the performance between the person that does it originally and this person. If you have watched this version of a song as many times as I have. However, I am very happy to have this one in the version catalog as well because it is just, it's just a good performance of somebody doing either like a homage performance to somebody they really rock with because I know cuz or somebody that just likes a really good song. Like, mass, like bro smashed it out the park. It's really good. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the performance. If there's any other of these that I should be doing. But let's focus on niggas we don't know that we've never listened to that deserve to be highlighted that have good music because that's what the secondary section of what I think Smokey Proof Korea should be and what I should have been doing but we did not do that it's all on me but if you guys would like to help me on that and fix this then that is where my focus is for the secondary video that I'm trying to drop when it comes to this section of the channel thank you guys very much for joining me sorry I've been gone for so long but we are back like with an official official back and I have a timeline of when I might be going again but that will only be like for a weekend so we're back on smoke thank you for joining me I had a really good I don't know how long it was, but I was working, but it was really fun, and I made some really good connections, and I could probably do, like, an update video if anybody really cares that deep, but, yeah, we're just back doing what we was doing before, but even harder with more videos. That's the plan. Uh, yeah, please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description. See you on the next one. I'm out of here.